Well, ladies and gentlemen, we got an update regarding Paycor Stadium in Cincinnati and the Bengals investing $100 million into renovations amid the stadium talks. And they admit the stadium talks have been going very slow with the lease up in a few years. What does this really mean? And when you look at Paycor Stadium, there's definitely more to the story than them just investing $100 million in private money. Now, it was reported and the Bengals put out a statement saying $100 million, we're going to renovate the stadium, it's going to be huge, but it's kind of an oxymoron. You really can't do a huge renovation on just $100 million. If you look at any comparison on stadiums that were built in the same time frame as Paycor, normally you're looking at possibly not renovating and getting a new stadium or you're looking at a $300, a $400, a $500 million renovation. Just look at M&T Bank Stadium, which is getting around a half a billion dollar renovation themselves. So the moral of the story here, this is not enough money for a wide scale renovation that I think the Bengals want. And I would imagine they're doing this to try and get some good publicity. Although if you actually read it, you can see on Tuesday, the team announced an investment of $100 million to $120 million dollars in renovations at the stadium, in a post on the team's website, the Bengals said the league's finance committee unanimously approved the team's application to use funds from the one of the NFL's loan programs. So uh, they're, they're not even it looks like they're not even using the money themselves. They're getting money, and then I'm, I would imagine they're also going to be asking for more money from the city of Cincinnati. Because again, when you look at how old Paycor Stadium is, they've talked about doing renovations in the past. Yes, technically they are renovating the stadium right now. It's very small renovations, but they are renovating it. But I don't think $100 million is really going to be enough if you want the stadium to have actual longevity, possibly. You know, I mean, even look at Cleveland Browns Stadium, built around the same time, and the Browns are talking about a billion dollar investment into the stadium or possibly a new stadium that would be over $2 billion. So if they only go with $100 million, that's a very cheap renovation. And if you go cheap on the renovations, it's going to bite you in the long run. And the stadium is already, this is already, you know, a place that's not thought of as like top 15, top 20. I probably have it ranked like 22, 23. I don't know. I haven't really done NFL stadium rankings in a while, but it's it's certainly not thought of extremely highly, and I don't think $100 million would really change a ton. That could get you a new scoreboard, that could move, move a few things around, but it's not going to give it a crazy facelift that a bigger renovation would. So I think the inclination here is that the Bengals are going to be asking the city and the taxpayers for money. That's what I think is going to happen, maybe around $200 million, maybe around $300 million, and they'll probably end up doing some type of $300, maybe $350 million renovation to Paycor Stadium with them getting, it looks like, $100 million in loans from the NFL and their loan program, and then possibly getting the rest from the city of Cincinnati. That would be my opinion right now because, again, it really doesn't line up when you look at the stadium's life, where it is right now. I look at all the AFC North stadiums and they're all in very similar spots. The Browns are talking the $1.2 billion renovation or a new stadium. The Steelers possibly getting some type of renovation, although the news on that really has been slow. I know the Steelers last year were kind of hinting at maybe a new stadium, but I highly doubt it. And then you look at m and Bank Stadium in Baltimore, it's like around a half a billion dollar renovation. And all of these stadiums were built in the same time frame. So if Cincinnati only invests $100 million, I know they're investing some right now, but it really would only be like $170, $180 million. It is a cheap renovation. And I think it would, would bite them. And that's why I think there's going to be more money, especially with the lease coming up in 2026, the leverage that the ownership is going to have and they've already admitted the talks with Cincinnati when it comes to the stadium have been very slow so far so I'd imagine they're talking they're negotiating about extending the lease they're going to want some money to upgrade the stadium because the stadium again it's not even close to one of the best I don't think it's terrible but you can understand the ownership looking at this and saying well if the if the lease is coming up and you want us to sign a new one we're going to need some money for a new stadium. 
So in essence, I don't think this is the grand announcement that Cincinnati is doing a $100 million renovation over the next year or two, and that's going to be it. I know it kind of reads like that because they're like, oh, we're going to invest $100 million. None of it's coming from the taxpayers. But I, I think based on the lease situation and based on what's going on in Cincinnati, the negotiations that, again, have been really slow, there's going to be public money involved in this. This is going to be a bigger renovation, I would guess. This is a team that kind of last summer I did a video talking about there were some rumors that possibly they wanted a new stadium. So just think about that. If they had thought about getting a new stadium and now they're only going to invest $100 million, which is a dinky renovation into Paycor Stadium, it, does, it doesn't add up. So with the lease coming up in 2026, they're going to use that as leverage, I'm guessing, to possibly get another two or $300 million in the total renovation because they're already getting $100 million from the NFL loan program, the total renovation being around $400 million. Now, the big news in all of this is this basically confirms, outside of something crazy happening, they will be staying at Paycor Stadium. They're not going to push for a new one. It's really not that surprising. If they tried to get a new one, it would be, I'd say, like 70% publicly funded based on the ownership situation. I think they have the, the, the owners, of course, could afford it, but I believe their ownership has the lowest net worth out of anyone in the NFL, so it would just be a lot of heavy lifting from the public to pay for a new stadium, even if they did decide to build an outdoor stadium, which you can do in Cincinnati because Cincinnati is, is way in Southern Ohio and they do get very mild weather even in the winter now. Uh, so you could do an outdoor stadium with Cincinnati if they wanted to build a new one and maybe it would only be around 1.6, 1.7 billion, but that's still a ton of money to ask for. And I just think you know the money was not gonna be there. It was gonna be a big dispute. Let's just renovate our current stadium. Let's get around two or $300 million from the public. That's what I would expect to happen here. And then you're talking about maybe a 350, 450, somewhere around there, million dollar renovation. There's been no renderings revealed on how this money is actually gonna be spent. I know they talked about a lot of infrastructure stuff, upgrading concessions, upgrading bathrooms, upgrading the scoreboards. You know, that's not really about the stadium and making the stadium look nice. Yes, they are changing out all of the club level seating. And I think that's an improvement for this stadium. But in general, it, there's probably going to be a more widespread renovation. And then the renderings will be revealed when they agree to uh, on how much money they're going to be getting for this renovation from the city. And then they're going to say, well, the announcement is it's a $400 million renovation in total or a $500 million renovation in total. Here are the renderings. Something similar to, you know, MNT Bank Stadium. They got a bunch of money from Baltimore, the city, and then they released the renderings of what the new stadium will look like, an exterior upgrade, and what have you. And I would imagine that's what's going to be happening to Paycor Stadium. Now, looking at the stadium, there's some things you could do to renovate it, I guess. It's going to be kind of hard. There's really no cut dry answer, I think, just because of the way the design is. If you look at Bank of America Stadium in uh, Charlotte, it's very obvious if you wanted to renovate that stadium, you could take out seating in the upper deck and, and put in bars and things like that. With this stadium, you really can't do that. So I do think behind possibly one of the end zones, you could change out some seating, put in you know nice looking bars. I mean, kind of what, like what college football programs are doing. There, A lot of them are doing that now where they'll take out a bunch of seating behind the end zone and they'll build up bar areas, standing room areas. I think that might be something they do at Paycor Stadium behind one of the end zones because if they are actually going to invest a lot of money into a renovation, just based off of the way the stadium is built, there's not a whole lot to work with in terms of changing the upper deck or doing anything like that. It would have to be more behind the end zones. Maybe a similar situation to Cleveland Browns Stadium, although the Browns had a much more pronounced seating with all that bleacher seating behind both of the end zones. They had an amazing renovation. They chopped all that off and they put up a nice futuristic scoreboard with some interesting seating compartments. So I would say maybe that's something that they could do at Paycor Stadium. Of course, they could do an exterior renovation. That could happen. I mean, that's what Baltimore did and that cost a lot of money. So we will have to see. But I don't think this is a situation where it's like, we got $100 million. That's all we need for the next 20 years at Paycor Stadium. Well, no, you know, the way it works now Based on the stadium's life, you're going to need more than $100 million. And also, it's not like this is a, a highly thought of stadium. If this was a top 10 stadium, you could say, all right, $100 million, that's fine. I mean, just for example, AT&T Stadium in Arlington, 
I think they got like $250 million in renovations, and you can't even tell. It was all infrastructure stuff for the World Cup. So I'm just saying, $100 million, it's not going to do a ton. That's not to say it's not good. It's a nice renovation, but in general, with inflation where we are now, I do think based on the lease coming up, and they've already hinted they want a stadium upgrade. They're talking with the city. Again, the talks aren't going anywhere, but it's going to happen, you would think. They're going to say, look, we got $100 million. You give us two or $300 million, and we will go and do a massive stadium renovation. So it's really just the first step. I know the article and the announcement makes it seem like, that's it. It's a $100 million renovation. I highly doubt it. Where are the renderings? Think about it. This is not it. There's gonna, they're going to ask for more money, and they're going to try and get a bigger renovation based on the stadium's timeline uh, with it being around the same age as all the other AFC North stadiums. And, you know, the Browns are going to minimum have a, a $1.2 billion renovation. Now, you could say, well, that's different because that's the exterior of the stadium. But also remember, the Browns got a big renovation back in 2014 as well. So that's a lot of money to be invested into that stadium. And then on top of that, they might just get a new stadium altogether, which would be over $2 billion. We don't know what the Steelers are doing. And then Baltimore investing around five, $600 million. You can understand and you can surmise that Cincinnati will be asking for a lot of money. And, and even looking at this, this coming out la- about a year ago, a little over a year ago, renovations, new stadium, under debate for Cincinnati. And the projection there, Paycor Stadium renovations could cost around $500 million or they could build a new stadium entirely. Now, that was a year ago. So you're going to tell me now they're only going to do $100 million. Obviously, guys, this could be, they're hinting maybe a half billion dollar renovation to this stadium, which wouldn't surprise me. And if you look behind both of the end zones, I do think they're going to build up those areas. There's gaps in between, like where you can see through the sides. That's very cheap. They're going to build all of that up, redo that. And it wouldn't surprise me at all if they kind of incorporated the jungle theme because Cincinnati has that trademark when it comes to the NFL. They're, you know, the Bengals, the jungle, have like a jungle area behind one of the end zones. Add a little uniqueness to the stadium. I would guess that would happen. But either way, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.